Hello and welcome everybody. This is Nikki here with Absolute Accountant. As we are closing in on your end, people are thinking a lot about taxes and different strategies to minimize their tax burden. How can they save? So today, that is what our topic is all about. Taxes definitely are a part of life, but they certainly do not have to be a burden on you. So we're going to explore some savvy ways for both businesses and individuals to save on their taxes. So whether you are running a company or just managing your personal finances, we're going to go over some of the strategies that can hopefully help you keep more money in your pocket. Let's dive right in. We're going to first start with some tax saving strategies for individuals. These are the tips that will help you optimize your personal finances and hopefully reduce your tax liabilities. So number one, you have to first understand your tax deductions. The first step in understanding your tax deductions is that most of your mortgage interest, your student loan interest, your medical expenses, all kinds of stuff can potentially be a deduction for you. So it is absolutely crucial that you keep good records and you keep your receipts in an organized manner so that you can give those that information to your tax accountants um, and they can run the numbers to decide if you can take those deductions or not. But you always need to have documentation to support your claims. So it is absolutely imperative that you keep records. Keep those receipts. Keep them even if it's just in a shoebox. It's better to have them all in one place in a shoebox than to um, not have it at all. So first and foremost, any receipt that you think might have the possibility of being a tax write-off or a tax deduction, when in doubt, always keep it and always ask the question. All right, number two, leveraging your retirement accounts. So another way to maximize your tax savings and to maximize your um, tax benefit is to have a retirement account. Now there's all different kinds of retirement accounts and they all come with certain different stipulations and regulations. But for the most part in general, having a retirement account does allow you some tax savings. So contributing to your retirement accounts can be one of the most effective ways to lower your taxable income. You want to make sure that you're maximizing your contributions, whether you have an IRA, a 401k, or whatever type of plan you have. Make sure that you're maximizing your contributions if you have the cash flow to do it. And there are definitely ways to have multiple different kinds of plans and then maximizing on all of those. So maximizing on any of the retirement plans that you have can definitely help uh, potentially secure your financial future and save you money on taxes. All right, number three on the individual side, uh, look at your tax credits. What can you take for tax credits to give you a better tax position? So be on the lookout for tax credits. Um, these, there are a bunch of credits out there. Various credits such as the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, or there are some, several education-related credits. These can directly reduce your tax bill if you're eligible to take these credits. So make sure that you're looking out and asking the question of your tax accountant about various different tax credits. All right, now on to the business side of things. So let's talk about the business side. We're going to shift our focus over to business tax saving strategies. So if you're a, ta a business owner, some of these tactics can help your company thrive and min hopefully minimize your tax burden. First of all, number one place to start is check in with your business structure. How is your business structured? Because selecting the right business structure is crucial in helping to reduce your tax liability and uh, your risk. So there are all different kinds of options and different strategies that can be employed here and it really kind of depends on your own unique situation. But for the most part, Selecting structures that are um, S corporations or C corporations usually can give you a little bit better bang for your buck and usually have a little bit more flexibility in tax planning and tax strategies. So if you are an LLC, you, you have the choice. And many small business owners are set up as LLCs. And so the nice part about being an LLC is it gives you, it allows you the choice 
um, of how you're going to be taxed business structure wise. So make sure that you are consulting a tax professional and asking the correct questions and letting them know a little bit about your business so that they can determine the best fit for you and your business when it comes to taxation. Okay, another thing for business deductions is making sure that you are capturing and again meticulously recording all of your business related expenses. So there's all kinds of deductible expenses, but some of the more common ones to remember are um, office space, renting an office space, having a storefront, whatever that looks like for you. That's definitely a deductible expense. Supplies for your business, office supplies and job supplies and um, any of those types of things, paper, ink, you know, you name it, all that kind of stuff that goes into running and operating a business, definitely a deductible expense. Uh, if you are in, are in business and you do some traveling that's related back to your business, then yes, some of that can be deductible. Same with meals. Meals in some, in some way, shape, or form can also be deductible, but there are some um, exclusions behind that. And then, of course, if you have employees, absolutely those are deductible costs. So maybe look at ways that you can incentivize your employees by offering year-end bonuses or other types of employee benefits that could potentially give your business more business deductions and then saving you on tax income. So definitely want to look into your business expenses and what those um, look like for you and how you can utilize those to save some money and mitigate your taxes there. Then, um, most small businesses also have tax credits, just like you do on the individual side. So you want to make sure that you're investigating small business tax credits. And depending on your industry and your location, you may qualify for credits like the Research and Development Tax Credit or the Work Opportunity Tax Credit. So make sure, again, that you are researching your options, you're asking the questions, and you're getting advice from a qualified tax professional. Okay, so that helps kind of give you some ideas of some of the strategies for individuals and some of the strategies for businesses on ways to save tax. There are definitely several strategies that can benefit both business and personal in tax planning. So let me go through a few of those before I round out our video for today. Now I'm, I'm biased because I am a tax professional, but I strongly believe that you want to be pl planning for taxes year round, not just at the end of the year, not just after your tax return is done, but you, you want to be thinking about that throughout the year. If I make this purchase, what is that going to do from a tax perspective? If I have this activity that happens in my business, what does that look like from a tax perspective? So do not wait until tax season or the end of the year to start thinking about this. Please, please, please continually review your financial situation and make adjustments where necessary to minimize your tax liability by monitoring it and by asking questions and by seeking quality professional advice. Um, the next thing that you can really consider for both businesses and individuals in terms of reducing your tax liability would be consider making charitable donations. By giving to qualified charities, you can receive deductions while contributing to a good cause that you care about. So it's kind of a dual um, purpose thing there. And I love things that can be used multi-purpose. Um, and then finally, again, I have the bias here as a, as a tax professional, but I believe that it's imperative that if you really want to maximize your tax savings and get have the best tax strategies possible, you really, really should think about working with a tax professional. Their expertise can help you navigate all the intricate tax landscape. They can help you identify different opportunities and different strategies that will help you along the way and help you save money. And they can make sure that you are in compliance and that you stay in compliance. So, in conclusion, um, effective tax planning is definitely a potent tool for both individuals and businesses, but understanding your options and making strategic choices will definitely help you save on taxes, increase your financial security, and invest in your future. So remember, the information in this video is just for informational purposes. I always, always, always advise you to consult a tax professional and as always, we are here for you, so feel free to reach out if you do have any additional questions. 
Thank you for listening, and until next time, stay curious.